U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit is allowing a temporary stay on the Biden administration's vaccine mandate. Our Taylor Tool spoke with State, Attor State Attorney General Jeff Landry and a legal expert on what's next. Look, personally, this is about protecting uh, Louisianians, and, and, and right now that's what we're looking forward to doing this week. A request to pump the brakes on the Biden administration's vaccine mandate for businesses with more than 100 workers has been granted. This action comes after Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry filed a lawsuit challenging the legality of OSHA's new rule. The decision by uh, the Fifth Circuit was, uh, was certainly the right decision, and we look forward to, um, uh, to a trial on the merits. But legal expert Andy Trusevich says there are still steps that need to be taken, and OSHA has an uphill battle ahead when it comes to the Supreme Court's permanent ruling. The government has to brief by tomorrow, and then your attorney general has until Tuesday to file a reply brief, and they'll make a decision on whether to um, repeal the temporary injunction or issue a permanent one. Once they rule, it will go right to the U.S. Supreme Court. As for the outcome, Trusevich says... I think it will be a 5-4 or 6-3 decision against OSHA, and I think they will split it by saying OSHA can't mandate vaccinations, but they can mandate testing and wearing a mask. That's how I think it's going to end up. In a press release, OSHA states that this emergency temporary standard they hope to get the stamp of approval on will affect more than 84 million Americans working in the private sector. However, the organization notes that this ETS does not require employers to pay for testing. In Lafayette, Taylor Toole, KATC TV3.